our new cuckoo clock. I love our cuckoo clock. Me too. I like how it sounds. Tick, tock, tick, tock. <laughs> I like when the cuckoo bird pops out. He's cuckoo. He does that every hour. And look, do you all know what time it is? Yeah, sure. It's, um, uh... It's time to go cuckoo! Huh? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> we counted three cuckoos. That means it's three o'clock. Oh boy, oh boy, it's dinner huh? time! <laughs> Orbit, it's not dinner time. We eat dinner at five o'clock. Oh, and... Hmm, what time is it now? Uh, huh? Say, Orbit, how would you like to get some practice telling time? That would be great, as long as we're done in time for dinner. That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where Orbit can practice telling time. Sounds like it's time for some fun. Okay, let's see where you can go. The music planet? Uh, that's a good place to practice the piano, but not for telling the time. The mineral planet? There are lots of rocks on the mineral planet, but not lots of clocks. Oh, the clock planet! That's the perfect place for our mission. <laughs> yes, the clock planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. clock is different. I wonder why. Maybe they're cuckoo clocks. You know, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> so, Orbit, which clock would you like to practice on? Well, since I need a lot of practice, how about all of them? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Clock has a nice face. Huh? What? Clocks have faces? <laughs> Not real faces, Orbit. That's just where the clock numbers go. And without the numbers, we'd have a hard time telling the time. Uh... Oh, hi there. I think he wants to help me practice. The big hand counts the minutes, and the little hand counts the hours, and the hour always comes first. So, Orbit, what time does that say? Hmm, let's see. The little hand is pointing at the two, and the big hand is pointing at the three. So that means it's three two? Not quite, Orbit. May I? Remember, the little hand is the hour hand, and the hour goes first. There are 60 minutes in an hour, and each number equals five minutes, so you count by five. 
Okay, and if the little hour hand is on the two, and the big minute hand is on the three, then that means it's five, ten, fifteen, two fifteen? Yes! That's <laughs> right! Good job! Huh? Whoa! Look at that clock! It looks like our cuckoo clock, only a lot bigger. Yeah! I'm gonna practice on that one next. Come on! is pointing at the four, and the big hand is pointing straight up, which means it's four o'clock, right? Yes, that's right. Perfect. Now you're getting it, Orbit. And if it's four o'clock, you know what that means. It's time to go cuckoo. <laughs> yeah, cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Now I see. The big clock tells the other clocks what time it is. There he is! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! Hi, Cuckoo! <gasps> I'm okay! Don't worry! I have everything under control! how time works, Orbit. No time to talk! After that cuckoo, cuckoo bird! Whew! He's hard to catch. That cuckoo bird is really wound up. No wonder! He lives in a clock! We have to keep trying! Because if we put him back in the big clock, the other clocks will start ticking again. Uh, and dinner time will be saved! Shh! Quiet, Orbit. Here he comes. Ha! Fun's over, Cuckoo Bird. It's time to get back in your clock and stop going. Hi, Cuckoo! Oh. Yipe! Um, um, do I look cuckoo to you? <laughs> Okay, let's see. The little hand is almost on the five, and the big hand is almost at the twelve. Ah! That means it's almost five o'clock! <gasps> Dinner time! And that means we don't have much time left. What will we do? Oh. I don't know. You'd have to be cuckoo to catch that silly bird. Huh? Hey, that's a great idea. I can go cuckoo. Come on, guys, follow me. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit was having trouble telling the time. 
So we went to the Clock Planet, a place with lots of clocks so Orbit could practice. He learned that all clocks have hour hands and minute hands. Orbit liked the big cuckoo clock the best, but the cuckoo bird got away. Without the cuckoo bird, the big clock couldn't tell the other clocks what time it was. But Orbit could, and he caught that silly cuckoo just in time. That's how I learned to tell the time. And right now, it's dinner time. But I don't need a clock to tell me that. <laughs> well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, You're just in time. We're making a salad. Hey, where is everybody? Just getting salad, dogs. I've got the dressing. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Ta-da! You need to be more careful. I mean, what's more important, salad or safety? It's a toss-up. Get it? <laughs> Come on, let's make a super yummy, good-for-the-tummy salad. Um, I've got bad news. We're all out of tomatoes. And cucumbers. Uh. And lettuce. What? A salad isn't a salad without lettuce! Wow. He's serious about lettuce. Are you sure we're all out? I'm sure. <sighs> we go through more lettuce than a drove of rabbits. How can you be talking about driving rabbits at a time like this? <laughs> A drove of rabbits is just another way of saying a group, Orbit. What we need is our own vegetable garden. Then we'd never run out. That's a great idea. We could grow our own carrots and tomatoes and cucumbers. And lettuce! A whole drove of lettuce! And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can plant our own vegetable garden. That sounds like a vegelicious idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The bath planet? No, that's where we go to get clean after we plant a garden. The beach planet? That won't do. Vegetables need soil to grow, not sand. The garden planet, that's perfect. Yes, the garden planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Orbit. Lots of folks come here to plant vegetables, so somebody must have left it out. Um, somebody wasn't thinking about safety. Hey, look at this spot. No one's using it. 
It would make a good garden, don't you think? Sure, but we'll have to prepare the soil first. It needs to be dug up and turned over using shovels. I can do that. I can help. Um... Also, we'll need a plan. We need to figure out what to plant and where to put it. That can be our job, TK. Come on, let's get to work. Yeah! Oh, my God! The garden site is ready to go, Captain Soil. Awesome, Major Dirt. Operation Veg, very excellent garden, is underway. And while you were digging, we figured out where plants should go. Yes, we organized the plants into rows, so we'll know what each vegetable is when it sprouts out of the ground. One question, Agent Sprout. What's with the chicken wire? Are we growing chickens? <laughs> of course not. It's to keep out the rabbits. Rabbits love vegetables. Good idea. We don't want anyone or anything eating our lettuce. <laughs> right. Now all we need to do is plant the seeds and seedlings. Hey, I know. Let's have a race to see who can plant the seeds the fastest. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! Everyone would stop leaving garden tools lying around. I win. I'm the fastest, so I'm the best. <gasps> Ouch! Are you okay? Are you sure? Well, okay. But you should be more careful where you're stepping. Soil? Huh? Rob? What are you doing? Wait a minute. There's something funny going on. What's he doing? Oh, I get it. He's pretending to be a rabbit. Ha ha. Very funny, Rob. Uh, are you sure he's joking around? Maybe that bonk on his head was harder than we thought. Rob? Uh-oh. I think you're right. Maybe Rob has a loose wire. Hmm. <gasps> he thinks he's a rabbit. Worse, he's a rabbit. We have to do something. Don't panic. We'll find a way to fix this. Let's think. Hmm. Maybe we can rejig his wires. Or hit his reset button. Rob? Oh, no! Ah! What happened? Rob isn't just a robot. He's a Destructo Bunny! We've got to find him! Come on! Huh? Here, Robert, Robert, Robert! Oh! We really need to take safety more seriously around here. I know you're there. I hear you, Rob. Ah! You're not Rob! Aha! Uh -huh. Whoa! <gasps> oh, Rob! Stop! Hey! <laughs> this is silly. We need a plan. I know. We'll make a robin trap. Um. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. I was saving it for later. Here comes Rob. I hope this works. Ready? Now! <laughs> Robo sticks! He's too quick! We'll never catch him. He's too fast. Put that there! Mom! Are you okay? Well, of course I'm okay. Why wouldn't I be? Woohoo! You're okay! You're okay! Rob isn't a robot anymore! A robot? 
Would you believe us if we said you thought you were a rabbit? A rabbit? You mean the animal with floppy ears that hops? <laughs> That's silly. Uh-huh. But it's true. Huh? We think one of your wires came loose when you hit your head on that rake. That rake? For real? Wow. I guess I should be more careful, huh? We should all be more careful. <laughs> looks amazing! And now that the garden tools are put away, no one will get hurt. Right! Now we'll have yummy vegetables to look forward to. And you know what that means. We'll have lettuce! <laughs> yes, and it means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? We went to the garden planet to plant a vegetable garden. Only I walked into a rake and, well, can you believe it? I thought I was a rabbit. When I bumped my head again, I returned to normal. But it made us realize how important it is to pay attention to safety. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. You're just in time! I found a shiny blue rock to add to my rock collection. <laughs> See, I have smooth rocks and bumpy rocks and rocks in every color. Well, every color but green. But I wonder what kind of rock this is. Do you know, Orbit? Hmm, let's see. It's blue and hard. Maybe it's a new kind of rock. Maybe my rock analyzer can help. Yeah! Oh, I know what kind of rock that is. It's called Moonstone. That's right. I used to have a bracelet made with Moonstones. You sure have a good eye for collecting rocks, Emma. Maybe we can all go rock hunting together. Well, that sounds like a mission. And you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go rock hunting. Well, that sounds like you're in for a rocking good time. Okay, let's see where you can go. The castle planet? We want to collect rocks, not build a castle with them. Music planet? Hmm, no. Although it's a great place to rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the mineral planet. Rocks are made up of minerals, so that's the perfect place for our yeah. mission. Yes, the mineral planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Stop the mineral planet. <laughs> this whole place is full of rocks. Where should we?
we start looking. They look like they know where they're going. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mine cars, Orbit. Oh. They're used by miners to move rocks from one place to another. See? Huh? That's where the big rocks get broken into smaller ones to see if there are any rare minerals inside. Oh, look at all the shiny rocks. Ooh. It's a rock collector's dream. <gasps> Let's get digging. Very rare. This rock is gonna look great in my collection. <gasps> hey, wait a minute, huh? Rob. Why do you get to have it? I saw it first. Yeah, but I tripped over it, so it should be mine. No, it's mine. It's even green, like me. Guys, it's just a rock. No rock is worth friendship, right? But it's a special rock, and I saw huh? it first. <sighs> Come on, Orbit. Maybe we'll find more rocks this way. Uh, look, look, whoops! Oh. Oh. Uh, uh-oh. I'm going to dig, 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 and soon you'll see, see, see. I'll find a rock, rock, rock to share with Orbit and me.
You see? Orbit is stuck. And if he moves, the rock moves too. <gasps> oh no! Orbit might fall. Rob, what do we do? Hmm. I know. We need something to counterbalance the rock so Orbit can jump off. How about this? Uh, our rock? Hmm. Yeah, it may be special, but no rock is worth a friendship. And right now, our friend needs our help. <gasps> now, Orbit, jump! <laughs> you! Thanks, guys. But now your special rock is gone. That's okay. We have something even better than a special rock. We have a special orbit. Aww, and we won't go home empty-handed. See, we still have my rock. Huh, this rock doesn't have a name. <laughs> really? A special rock deserves a special name. So, what are you gonna name it, Orbit? Orbitite? Orbitium? No. I hereby call this rock, Friendstone. Friendstone, it's perfect! And I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to find some cool new rocks. So we went to the mineral planet to do some rock hunting. There, we found rocks in all shapes, sizes, and colors, including a rare green rock. Both Emma and I wanted to keep it, but when Orbit got into trouble, we decided no rock is more important than a friendship because good friends are hard to find. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Mineral Planet! Dinosaurs. See, this is Stegosaurus. He has these bony plates on his back to protect him from other dinosaurs. <laughs> and this is Brachiosaurus. He was one of the largest dinosaurs. Brachiosaurus is awesome, but this one is my favorite, Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was a fierce meat-eating dinosaur. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Ooh, fierce dino. Run! <laughs> Don't worry, this T-Rex won't bite, but a real one might. Well, you know, dinosaurs disappeared a long, long time ago, but there's still one that's around today. <gasps> there is? Uh... Yep, it's the Robotosaurus. Cool! A robo-dinosaur! We should try to find it. Then you can meet a real dino, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can find a Robotosaurus dinosaur. That sounds like a dynamite idea. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The pet planet? That's a good place to find a tiny lizard, but not a giant dinosaur. <laughs> the castle planet? I don't think we'll find a dinosaur there. 
A dragon, maybe. Yes, the dinosaur planet. That's the perfect place. Yeah! <laughs> yes, the dinosaur planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. the Robotosaurus is a herbivore. A herb what? A herbivore. It means he's a plant eater. Phew, that's good. I'm glad the Robotosaurus isn't a robotivore or robot eater. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. These plants with the heart-shaped leaves are the Robotosaurus's favorite meal. Hmm. I have an idea. If we look for those plants, maybe we'll find the Robotosaurus. Good thinking, Rob. All right, let's go! <laughs> Wait a minute, we should all stick together. <laughs> Woohoo! We'll find that dinosaur. to meet him. Look, come here, Rob. Hmm? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Dino! Mm -hmm. I think these are the plants we're looking for. Only... Some of them have mighty big bites out of them. Are we sure the Robotosaurus is a herbivore? What if your book is wrong? Or what if it's a different kind of Robotosaurus? Or... Orbit, you're being a silly Saurus. <laughs> Everything's gonna be fine. Yep, just as soon as we find our dino. <gasps> oh, did you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from over there. Come on. No, Rob, I think it's coming from over there. Nuh uh, we wanna go this way. Go back to the rocket. TK, what do you think? Huh? Hmm? 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 Did you say something? Look at these plants. They're amazing. This way, Rob. I'm sure of it. No way. I'm sure I heard the dino over here. <gasps> Woohoo! Dino, here I come. No way. <laughs> to go this way. I know, but I'm sorry. I was just so excited. How are we gonna get out of here? Hmm. Huh? Ah, it's going to eat us! I told you, Orbit. Robotosauruses eat plants, not robots. <gasps> uh, maybe we should find a way out of this pit. Don't worry, guys. I'll power up my rocket boots and get us out of here. Huh? Oh, no. They're not working. Probably from the fall. I just need a closer 
look to fix them. Oh, oh no. I forgot my magnifying glass by the plants. Ah! Ah! Find me! There has to be a way out. Oh, what about your ladder, TK? Uh... I left my ladder behind, too. This is all my fault. If only I'd listened to you guys. Ah! It's going to get us! It's gonna eat us! It's... it's... Huh? It's teeny tiny! Wow, he's so itty bitty! With cute little horns and eyes and... Whoa, that dino breath. Hi, I'm Rob. And you must be... Robotosaurus? Uh, why don't we just call you Roboto for short? Do you like that? Sea Orbit? He's not gonna eat us. He's friendly. Huh? Maybe he can help us get out of here. How? He's so small. What can he do? Orbit, I think you hurt his feelings. Roboto, come back! Oh, I didn't even get to meet him up close. Uh, Rob, you know how you promised you'd start listening to us? Yeah. No! Robotosaurus! Wow, he's a lot stronger than he looks. I'll say. And now we're rescued. <laughs> Thanks, Roboto. Yeah, thanks, Roboto. You're awesome. More than awesome. You're the most amazing dinosaur I've ever met. <laughs> and that means this is one big, uh, little mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the dinosaur planet to find the Robotosaurus. Only, I didn't listen to my friends and accidentally led them right into a big pit. It seemed like there was no way out until the Robotosaurus came to our rescue. Now I'm the luckiest robot alive. I learned how important it is to listen to my friends and I got to meet a real Robotosaurus. Cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Dinosaur Planet! That's fantastic. Huh? Huh? 
Getting more paper to build a cool paper airplane sounds like a great mission. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Japanese art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Origami is too hard. 
It is hard, Emma. You need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, hold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect. Thanks, TK. I'm done. <gasps> I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go. Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> and now that I know how, I can make a paper airplane. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Hi, everyone. You're just in time. We're talking about the adventures of Bolt Boy. Come on! That was the best movie ever! Yes! Remember when Bolt Boy lifted up the car with his super strength to protect his friends from that meteor shower? Yeah! That was so cool! And then he used his
his super speed to rescue that space monkey. That was so totally awesome! Hey, maybe there's some place where we can go to get superpowers. You mean we can have superpowers just like Boo Boy? Yeah, I bet we could. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can have superpowers for the day. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The Windy Planet? Well, that's a great place to find wind power, but not superpowers. The Toolbox Planet. It has power tools, yes. Superpowers? No. The superpower planet? That's super perfect! Yes, the superpower planet. A wonderful choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the superpower planet. Woohoo! Superpowers, here I come. Are we in the right place? Hmm. This is the superpower planet, right? It doesn't look very super. What's with the phone booth? Maybe we're supposed to call someone to find out where the real superhero planet is. <laughs> Rob! <gasps> Whoa! It's a telephone teleporter! Just like Bull Boy uses! Oh, right! Well, what are we waiting for? like me. Yeah, super fly in the sky power. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I guess not. Then you must have super duper strong power, like me. 
got super, super strong power. Ugh. I don't have it. Ugh. I don't get it. I don't have any of the powers that you guys have. I'm confused, mystified even. Maybe I don't have any superpower at all. But how can that be? We all got superpowers as soon as we went through the telephone booth. Maybe it's some sort of planetary malfunction. You know, things went awry, a mess, a field, a stray. Orbit, what are you saying? I'm saying there's a 65.4% chance that the atmospheric conditions here, combined with my molecular structure, resulted in the non-existence of extraordinary powers. Huh? Oh no, I know what happened. Big words, scientific theories. I've got... <gasps> Super smarty pants power. No! I mean, yes, that's correct. Accurate, right even. Uh... Superpowers rule! <sighs> sure, except I got stuck with a boring, tiresome, irksome power. Come on, Orbit, cheer up! Oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but look at all the fun, smart stuff you can do! I suppose, but it's not as entertaining as flying, or spinning, or elevating massive boulders with one hand. Well, we could do something else for a while. Um... You could teach us some math equations. Good idea. Uh, that'll be uh, just as much fun as using our superpowers. Whoa! Coming through! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm okay. But it appears the computer is not. Superhero security alarm activated. Uh-oh. TK's unfortunate collision with the computer has caused it to malfunction, thereby trapping us. Trapped? Ha! We can't be trapped. We're superheroes, remember? <laughs> right. I'll just use my super fly in the sky power. Ouchie, oh, that didn't work. Not a problem. With my super twisty twirly power, getting out of here should be a breeze. Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I can't spin through walls. They're too strong. This sounds like a job for Super Rob. Those walls aren't stronger than I am. Why won't you open? Oh, getting out of here is going to be harder than we thought. None of our powers are helping. What are we going to do? Mm. Uh, Orbit, what are you doing? This appears to be a memory puzzle. I just need to match the icon, or picture, with its corresponding icon. Observe. Oh, it's like a matching game. Smart thinking, Orbit. Thanks, but I'll need to quicken my maneuvers. Notice the timer. There's not much time left. Uh, oh no, that wasn't a match. No, but it'll allow me to do this. A match! Way to go, Orbit. A mask. So therefore, this icon should be a lightning bolt. Now my solution should authorize the walls to retract or receive. Superhero security alarm deactivated. You did it! You're a hero, Orbit, just like Bolt Boy. You saved the day! Yes! Very astute of you, Rob. You're right. I did save the day. I came to the rescue with my super smarty pants power. I guess brain power turned out to be the best power of all. And that means this is one super smart mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to the superpower planet, where we all got superpowers for the day. Orbit got super smarty pants power. Only, 
he didn't think that was very super. But when we got trapped, it was Orbit Smarty Pants Power that saved the day. He showed us that super smarts are super cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Superpower Planet. playing my favorite video game, Robot Run. Come on! Run, run Robot, Robot run. run! Go, Robot, go! <laughs> hey! My guy went ping! Is that bad? Sorry, Orbit. Huh? It's back to the starting line for you. Now it's my turn. Passing space bugs! Look at Rob go! Run, run Robot, run! run. Still works? Mm. Oh no! Now we can't play the game! Hey, I have an idea! Why don't we find a place where we can play Robot Run for real? Us? In a life sized video game? That sounds like we have a mission! Yeah! And you know what that means! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can play a real-life video game. Well, I'm game for that. Okay, let's see where you can go. Potato Planet? Um, let's keep our eyes peeled for another one. Sports Planet? That's a great place to play games, but not video games. Let's keep looking. Arcade Planet! Yeah! That's the perfect place! Yes, the Arcade Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Stop running. 
running or jumping over the rolling robot wheel. Run, run robot, run! Jump, jump robot, robot, jump! jump. <laughs> than I did. Yeah, but now we only get to watch them play. That's no fun, is it? Look, Emma, it's the last level. Robot climb. If we make it to the top, we win. Isn't that great? Yeah, I guess, but it's not as much fun without TK in orbit. Let's go. Last one to the top is a rusty robot. <laughs> Wait, Rob, what are the rules? It's easy. Just hop on the platform, but don't hop on the red one. Oh, great. Easy for you. You've played this game before. Oh! Hi, Emma. You rock, kind of. Looks like it's game over for everyone but Rob, huh? Go for it, Rob. <sighs> yeah, run, robot, run. Go, Rob, go. <sighs> Pouncing space bugs! Look at Rob go! What an expert! He's gonna do it! Run, run robot, robot, run! run. minute, I'm gonna win? Without my friends? <sighs> but we came here to play together. Huh? You were one hop away from the top. Then you hopped on the red platform. On purpose. Why did you do that? Our mission was to play the game together. And it's no fun winning unless everybody has fun. Come on, team. Let's take another run at Robot Run. Only this time, at a level we Yay! can all enjoy. <laughs> Complex. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? on the arcade planet, we all started a real-life version of Robot Run. Only, it wasn't that much fun for TK, Orbit, and Emma, because I knew the game better than they did, and they had trouble keeping up. I learned that it's not fun to win all by yourself, and we decided to try again. This time, at a speed we can all enjoy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. 
ready? Buckle your seatbelts. Sure, this is the fastest. that can help. Oh, my toy plane. Not really what we need right now, though. Oh, that's a nice hat, but I don't think it's what we need. A coin. This might work. Awesome! Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! <laughs> Left, right, or straight? Which way do we go? Buckle up again! You can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it! The end of the race! We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on. Here we go! This is great! We'll win for sure! Cheating. You cheated! No, you cheated! 
You both cheated. Don't you get it? If you don't play fair, this is what happens. Neither of you wins. Cheating means you're not really racing at all. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Hey, we're really sorry, guys. We forgot what the real spirit of racing is about. It's about doing your best. And supporting your friends. Not leaving them behind. Way to go, Squeak. You're a great racer. You played by the rules. And you know what happened? You won. <laughs> we gotta bring our pods back to the starting line. It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who is the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most important thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. An invitation. To what? A picnic? I love yummy picnics. Oops. I'm hungry. Even better. It's an invitation for the Great Galactic Cook-Off. Only, it's tomorrow. That doesn't give you much time to come up with a dish. I need to find my recipe book. Quick. <gasps> oh, my chef's hat. Wow. There are so many awesome recipes in here. Too many. How am I going to choose? Don't worry. We'll help you. We can even help with the cooking. And we can help with the tasting. You guys are the best. OK, first, we need some fresh ingredients to inspire me to come up with an amazing dish. We can stop at the Galaxy Grocery. Yeah! But that's all the way on the other side of the galaxy. Hmm. The sooner we find food, the sooner we can cook <gasps> and eat. <laughs> yeah! And that sounds like we have a mission. <laughs> and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to find some fresh ingredients to cook up the galaxy's greatest meal. What a delicious mission. Okay, let's see where you can go. I love the soccer planet, but I'm way too hungry to play right now. Stinky foot planet? Jam. Now that's a yummy looking planet. The food planet. Delicious choice. Now get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
next stop, the Food Planet. If it's what I think it is, we're looking at the wondrous, the fantabulous Foodomatic machine. Foodomatic machine? The Foodomatic machine? I can't believe it! Uh, what's the Foodomatic machine? It's only the most amazing cooking invention ever. The Foodomatic can cook any dish in the galaxy right here. We don't even need a recipe. We simply add ingredients and the Foodomatic will do the rest. But what kind of meal should we make? Ah, I know. We'll make Rob surprise. I'll need some strawberries, a pinch of pineapple, a squeeze of squash, oh, and some spaghetti. Can't forget that. Mm, all this talk of food is making me even hungrier. Well, I can fix that. So now what? I don't know. Maybe we push another button, or say please, or uh. uh... Ah! Ah! What's wrong with that thing? I don't know. Introducing Rob's Surprise, also known as Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs. Squash Getty with Pineapple Fruity Meatballs? Ew. Hmm. Wow, I'm stuffed. I ate so much my tummy trunk is full. Mm. It was mm mm good. Emma, you haven't even touched your food yet. Was something wrong with your dish? Well, it, uh, it's too yucky. I can't eat it. It looks yucky and sounds yucky, so it must taste yucky. How do you know when you haven't even tried it? Because the ingredients in Rob's surprise don't go together. It can't possibly taste good. But Emma, it did taste good. Oh, I don't believe that for one robo second. <sighs> If we want to win, we'll need to make a simple, normal dish. One everyone will love. But we're running out of time. The cook-off is tomorrow. Wait! I know! Guys, help me put some apples and bananas in the machine. I'll tell you yeah. when to stop. Um... Okay. Oh! How about a little eggplant, Emma? Eggplant and apples, Rob? Ew! Eggplant is delicious! Trust me, Rob, it's yucky! Now let me handle this. I'm the chef! Hmm. You're supposed to be helping me! Is this too many bananas, Emma? Oh! <laughs> Not pickles, Rob! Ick! <gasps> <gasps> what? Not meatballs, mangoes! No, not mangoes, meatballs! Ah!
wanted was some normal food. Ooh. Okay, that isn't normal. Everything's gonna be okay, as long as we find a way to shut down the food mat. But how? If we leave here, we'll be toast. Ah! Yeah, see? Don't worry, I have an idea. The coast is clear, let's go. Okay? I'm so hungry. I can barely move. Huh? You should have some Rob surprise. Uh, why not? I'm hungry enough to eat anything right now. Mm -mm -mm. Wow! This is actually really yummy. Why was I so picky? All I needed to do was try it. It's delicious. Really? Thanks. Oh, I just wish we had more of it so we could enter it in the cook-off. Huh? Ha! Now that's a Rob surprise. This is going to be a great galactic cook-off. And it's one big yummy mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Some Rob surprise with the food omatic. Only Emma wouldn't even try it. She tried to make her own meal, but we got carried away, and because of us, the machine went haywire. We finally shut it down. By then, Emma was so hungry, she agreed to try my dish. And she liked it. Sometimes it pays to keep an open mind and try new things. What a scrumptiously successful mission! Get ready for countdown! Five! Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Food Planet! Yeah. Hi, everyone. You're just in time for my karate practice. Yeah, yeah. In karate, breathing out loudly adds power to your moves. Yeah. Whoa! Huh? Uh, what are you practicing, Orbit? Fly Jensen! Hi-ya! This pesky space fly is driving me crazy! What's up? Uh -huh. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you do that? My karate training. It's given me ninja fast hands. Cool. Can I try? What's up? Uh, is karate safe? What's with all the kicking? <laughs> karate isn't all about kicking. Some martial arts teach focus. Some teach stealth. And others teach hand-eye coordination. I can show you. Oh, right! Then we'll all have ninja fast hands. Fast enough to catch that crazy fly. <laughs> but <gasps> is there enough room on the rocket for all of us to train? No, we'll need a special place. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? 
We want to go someplace where I can teach everyone martial arts. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The vegetable planet. A good place to chop veggies, but not to karate chop. Kia! Hmm, the Halloween planet. Great for dressing up like a ninja, but not for learning martial arts. Dojo planet! Dojos are where martial artists train. Yes, the dojo planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. get really good at martial arts, the first thing we need to learn is meditation. Let me show you. Close your eyes, breathe slowly, and focus only on your pose. How are we going to learn martial arts if we're sleeping? The more we practice imagining each pose, the easier it is to do them when we finally try. Meditation teaches you focus. Now you try. Imagine the pose you want to take, then slowly take it. Mm, almost got it. Phew. Uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, meditating. Uh, can I uh, open my eyes yet? Orbit, shh. Focus on your pose. Oops. Sorry. Maybe I can do this. Oh no. Sorry. I'll never learn this martial arts stuff or catch that pesky fly. You will, Orbit. You just need to believe you will. Ninja? <laughs> it's called ninjutsu. Ninjutsu training helps with stealth. Stealth? If you want to be a ninja or a good flycatcher, you need to be fast and move without being seen. That's what stealth means. We'll practice with this. What does ninjutsu have to do with squeaky wagons? I'm going to make it disappear. I'll believe this when I don't see it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I don't see it. Ah! How'd you do that? Always be aware of what's around you and move when no one's looking. Oh, I bet I can do that. Uh -um. Look, a crouching tiger. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just too clumsy to be a ninja. Nobody gets it right on the first try, Orbit. You have to stay positive and keep at it. Come on! <laughs> D 
Draw the arrow, focus, and release. Whoa! Kyudo training is my favorite. Kyudo is the Japanese word for target archery. To master Kyudo, you need to have good hand-eye coordination and focus. Ah, those are all the skills I don't have. Focus only on the target and believe you can hit it, Orbit. Place your feet, ready the bow, draw the arrow. Like this? Ah, ah. Other way, Orbit. Wrong way, Orbit. Orbit. Focus on the target, not us. Sorry. Feet, body, ready the bow, draw the arrow. I believe, I believe. Draw it all the way, release. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the dojo planet so I could teach everyone martial arts. The first step was learning focus, so we practiced meditation. But Orbit had a difficult time with that pesky space fly buzzing about. Next, we learn ninjutsu to help us with stealth. But it's hard to be stealthy when you're making a lot of noise. Then we tried Kyudo to help improve our hand-eye coordination. And sure enough, once Orbit focused, he hit the target. When you're trying to learn new things, always stay positive and never give up. Orbit kept at it, and he finally got pretty good. He just needed to believe in himself. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Dojo Planet. Oh, hi, everyone. Woohoo! It's space mail time again. Come on. Package for TK. Hmm. And. Oh! One for me! What did you get, TK? This is a third generation 400 gigahertz voice and noise modulator. Whoa! What does it do? Uh. It makes my voice sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Rob when he does his moose calls. Mm hmm? <laughs> hey, look! I got something from the Galaxy Beaver Scouts! <gasps> a finder's badge! And a note! It says, I've now earned all of my Galaxy Beaver Scout badges! So now I'm an official Space Scout Explorer! Woohoo! Hey, God! <laughs> but now you'll be in a different group than us! Hmm... 
Maybe we should earn our finder's badges too. Yeah! Yes! Then we can graduate and all be Space Scout Explorers together. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Emma, Orbit, and TK want to earn their Galaxy Beaver Scout Finders badge. That sounds like a great mission. All right, let's see where you can go. A stinky cheese planet? I think we'd know what we'd find there. See you! <laughs> the clock planet? Hmm, I don't think we have time for that. The Scout Planet? That's fire! Yeah! Yes, the Scout Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. first. It says here we need to pay attention and stay on the path so we don't get lost. Path? Got it. Anything else? Hmm. No. Just that someone with their finder's badge, that's Rob, needs to carefully hide the farfetchu. Hmm. Oh, please. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Uh, if you say so, start counting to 100 and good luck! One, two, Okay, I've got to hide this someplace good. <laughs> They're really going to have to keep their eyes open if they want to find the farmer. Oh, that's smart. Huh. 99, 100. 101, 102, 102. Oh, hey, wait for me. Yeah. a good place to hide the far for chew. But that looks even better. Yeah! Nothing here. Or a deer? Or a walrus! No, 
Remember when we got our animal tracker badges? Forest animals have hooves, claws, or paws. These are robot tracks made by... Rob! Oh. But they're headed away from the path. Rob wouldn't go that way unless... Uh, he was lost. Or unless he really wants to give us a challenge. Okay, Rob. We'll play by your rules. Come on. Let's find that farfetch'er. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is it. This is the perfect spot to hide the farfetch'er. Uh, huh? Where'd it go? Uh, what did I do with it? Hmm. I, oh, I left it on the bench. Oh, uh, that's okay. No problem. I'll just, Go back and get it. Uh, whoa, where am I? Oh no, I'm, I'm lost. Oh, what would a Galaxy Beaver Scout do now? <gasps> if you are lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Oh, oh, oh! The fire for you. you. We found it! Mm hmm But where's Rob? Oh, no. Maybe he is lost. Uh, Rob! He went that way. How do you know? Those leaves look like they just fell. This rock is flipped over, and those plants are newly squished. See the footprint? I bet Rob ran by, flipped the rock over when he jumped to high five the branch, hit the leaves, and they fell. Huh. Wow, that tracker's badge of yours is really paying off, Orbin. Thanks, yeah, <laughs> it's true. I have a pretty sharp eye for. Hey, wait! <laughs> Sounds more like a moose? Hmm. Wait, I know that sound. That's... Rob! <sighs> you found me, you found me! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I thought I'd be here forever. Hey, how did you find me? <laughs> I guess you'd say our animal coal badges came in handy. Actually, a lot of our galaxy beaver skills helped us today. Wow, am I glad! Hmm. I'm really sorry I got lost and you had to find me, and I'm also sorry that I, uh... <sighs> sort of lost the farfetch'er. Oh, you mean this little thing? <gasps> you found it! I don't believe it! Do you know what this means? Huh? Mm -hmm. You've earned your finder's badges! <gasps> These are for finding the chest. And for <gasps> finding me. Hooray! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, today we went to the Scout Planet so that Emma, TK, and Orbit could earn their finder's badge. It was my job to hide the far for you. I was so excited to play the game that I didn't realize I was lost. Orbit, Emma, and TK had to use their Galaxy Beaver Scout skills to find me. While they earned their badges, I learned I should pay more attention to where I'm going. And remember, if you're lost, the thing to do is just stay put. Let others find you. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. play in 
the Galaxy Pop Concert. <laughs> Where's your instrument? I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? You can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo, I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet. Yes! I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma. Book planets. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet. That could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the band planet. Hey, it plays music when you walk. Oh, that's a high note. And this one's a low note. something else. Would any 
anyone mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No! <laughs> no Let's keep looking. <laughs> What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Okay, that was awesome! Do you think I can play that? Give it a try and see. band? Absolutely! Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Don't be sad, Emma. We'll find your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! Drumsticks. We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Embos! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh! I know something that can help. Mm -hmm. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one. Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing 
notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Band Planet! You're just in time. We're just about to play a song we wrote. Come on. All right, let's get this concert started. <laughs> a one and a two and a one, two, three, four. TK? Thanks! Oh, my whammy bar's bent! Uh, maybe a little, but how does it sound? Uh. Ah, great! Let's keep playing! Orbit, my guitar's not supposed to sound like that. Oh. And now the whammy bar's stuck in there. Do you have another guitar you can use so we can keep playing? No. I'll have to fix this one. I just need the right tool. Oh, nope. Hmm, nuh-uh. Uh, definitely not. <sighs> I have five bazillion tools, and not one of them is a whammy bar wrench. Maybe there's a planet nearby where you can borrow the right tool to fix your guitar. And we can give our other instruments a tune-up, too. My drum's sounding a little glum. Yeah. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can fix TK's guitar. Well, that sounds like music to my ears. Let's see where you can go. The Fruit Planet? That's a good place to fix a snack, but not to fix an instrument. The Magic Planet? We want to put on a concert, not a magic show. Now that looks like a good place to fix an instrument. Yeah! <laughs> the Repair Shop Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
ones I've never seen before. <laughs> well, for a robot who has five bazillion tools, that's saying something. All right, T. The sooner we find a whammy bar wrench, the sooner TK can fix her guitar. And the sooner we can jam. Ooh, jam! Good idea. Anybody got any toast? <laughs> Orbit in music, playing a song with a band is called a jam. Oh, yeah. I knew that. So, what's a whammy bar wrench look like? Hmm. Well, it's about this big and it's... Totally not needed. Not when we have that tool over there. What is this? Huh? A fix-it machine. What's a fix-it machine? It's a super tool that can fix anything. I've always wanted to try one. Sounds super. How does it work? You just bring your broken item over to it, press a button, and the machine does the rest. Here, I'll show you. Whoa! Cool! Whoa! Huh? Orbit, what are you doing? Fixing all our instruments! No, Orbit, that's too many things for it to fix all at once! Uh, that can't be good for our instruments. Oh, no. Once it starts fixing something, you can't shut it off. machine needs fixing. Don't worry, guys. I'm on it. I'll start by reprogramming the robot arms. It'll take a few minutes to get them working properly. A few loud minutes. Or are you hearing what I'm hearing? It's so musical. my microphone if I can find something else to make my voice sound louder. La, 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 la. Oh! La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Nice! Awesome! <laughs> okay, almost done. La, 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 huh? Rob? Emma? Orbit? Wow! This is neat! But don't you want to play with our instruments? We do, TK, but we're finding all kinds of stuff here to make music with. Try it! It's fun! But I really wanted to play my guitar. Oh, although I guess I could make my own music maker. I think we have more than enough music makers to play our song. What do you say? Yeah! Let's jelly! I mean, jam!
instruments fixed properly. So we'll have even more ways to make music later. And that's one big musical mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? a jam session when TK's guitar got broken, so we went to the repair shop planet. We tried to fix it with the fix-it machine, only we ended up breaking even more instruments. While we waited for TK to fix the fix-it machine, we realized lots of things make nifty sounds, not just musical instruments. So we used those things to play our song, and we had an awesome jam. We learned that if something makes a sound, it can also make music. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Repair Shop Planet. Roar! <laughs> You're just in time. We're playing Guess My Wild Animal. Roar! Oh, my. Ferocious and brave. Hmm. I'm gonna guess you're the king of the jungle, a lion. That's right! You'll have to be fast to catch me, lion. Bet you can't guess what I am, TK. Graceful and a great jumper. Easy peasy, a gazelle. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Quit monkeying around, Orbit. Everyone knows monkeys are your favorite. Way too easy. Okay, Smarty Pants, now it's our turn to guess. Let's see your animal. <laughs> oh, uh, I know. I'm the wisest of all animals. Oh! Hmm, it's, um... Hmm. A turkey? I'm an elephant. Oh, that was really good. No, it wasn't. I tried, but I've never seen an elephant before. I've only read about them in my book. You've never seen a real elephant before? But they're your favorite. Oh, no. I've never seen any wild animal in real life. Isn't that kind of dangerous? No, it's so much fun. As long as you have a safe place to watch them from. Oh, you could even take pictures. Then you could make your own animal book. That's a great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see wild animals. Oh, how exciting! Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Pet planet? We don't want to see kittens. We want to see lions. The farm planet? Cows aren't wild. Just a little stinky. The safari planet. That's the perfect place to see wild animals. Yes, the safari planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry. 
Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Safari Planet. No feeding the animals. Oh. Are the animals hungry? Maybe they'll want to eat us. <laughs> don't be such a worry wart. Animals don't eat robots. <gasps> That's the spirit. Nut? Monkeys are called infants. And if he's hurt, we should call for help. You're all breaking the first rule. <laughs> Relax. I mean, look how cute he is. It's not like he's going to do anything bad. Huh? Uh, guys? Oh, uh, nice monkey. Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, that was pretty bad. Quick, we need to go after them. wild animal. That's against the second rule. Maybe she left it behind as a clue for us to follow. Or you don't think the gazelle ate her, do you? No, Orbit. Gazelles are herbivores. They eat grass. Nothing out here eats robots. <laughs> That's not good. Rockin' robots! A lion! And TK's book! She's definitely been eaten. Lions are carnivores. They only eat meat. The book must be another clue. Hey! He smells something! It smells like... my nuts! This way! But where's TK? I don't think that... What? The 
elephant ate me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Looks like our funky monkey here is friends with the elephant. He was just bringing him a snack. We were so worried. I'll never break the rules or call you a worrywart ever again. <laughs> I forgive you, Orbit. I'm sorry we ruined the safari for you, TK. Oh, you didn't even get to take pictures for your book. Are you kidding me? Check it out! Whoa! Amazing! These are great! Thanks. But, uh, guys, shouldn't you get back in the pod yeah. now? Here <laughs> we go! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to go someplace safe to see wild animals, so we went to the safari planet. Wild animals can be dangerous, that's why safaris have important rules. We found an infant monkey and thought he was hurt. Without thinking, we broke the first two safety rules and we lost TK. Thankfully, TK left clues for us to follow and along the way, we saw some of our favorite animals. Eventually, we found TK and learned a big lesson. When visiting a zoo or on safari, always make sure you follow the rules. That way, you'll always be safe. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Safari Planet! Oh, hi everyone! You're just in time! We're playing Rodeo Roundup! Rodeo Roundup is kind of like tag, only we're cowboys and cowgirls, and Orbit is our bull. Let's get him! Yeehaw! the old west and be a real cowboy for a day? And a cowgirl! Yes, sirree! Hey, I reckon there's got to be some place in the galaxy where we can do just that. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Place where we can be real cowboys and cowgirls for a day. That sounds like a mighty fine mission there, folks. Okay, let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet? We want to see the Old West, not rest. <laughs> the Pirate Planet? We want to be cowgirls and cowboys, not pirates. The Old West Planet? That's a mighty fine for a cowpoke adventure. Yes, the Old West Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
stop the old West Planet. I'm gonna rustle me up a rodeo. Where is everybody? This place looks like a ghost town. G -g ghost town? I don't like the sound of that. Ghost town is just an expression, Orbit. It means there's no one around. Oh. The town is empty. But I wonder why. This might explain things. Who's it from? What does it say? It's a note from the sheriff who runs this town. He had to leave for the day and he wonders if someone can take care of things while he's gone. Kind of like an honorary sheriff. You mean one of us can be sheriff for the day? I reckon that's the perfect job for me. Are you sure, Emma? Being the sheriff is a big responsibility. You have to take care of the town and make sure things get of done course and- I'm sure. I'm gonna be a great sheriff. You'll see. Make way for the sheriff! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I reckon I better figure out what needs to be done around these parts. Hmm. Fix the wagon, sweep the porch, clean the stable, and... Oh! Feed the bull! Bull? Looks like a family a rodeo. Uh, sorry, Rob. It doesn't say anything here about riding the bull. We're supposed to feed it. And while I do that, Rob, you can sweep the porch. TK, you're good with tools. You can be the blacksmith and fix the wagon. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and you, Orbit, you can clean out the stables. <sighs> All right. Well, come on on, y'all. Get a move on. Better not forget to close this gate when I'm done. Huh. We don't want a bull running around the town. Easy there, big fella. <laughs> Aren't you a cute little doggy? Huh? What in blazing saddles? Howdy, blacksmith. I was wondering what all the noise was. I think I fixed the wagon. All it needed was a new wheel, which I made using some metal and these old tools. Oh, great! We should take a ride. What about our chores? Don't be silly. There's always time for a wagon ride, partner. Hop on. Huh? Wait a minute. I think we're missing something. Where's the horse to pull the wagon? We don't need a horse. You've got rocket boots, Rob. Give us a push. Giddy up. Let's get this wagon rolling, partner. <sighs> All right. Hang on. Yeehaw! <laughs> Thanks for the ride. Now, everybody, back to work. Don't worry. I'll hitch up the wagon. I am the sheriff, after all. You two can finish sweeping up the town. All right. Come on, TK. Yeehaw! Get the tie yo yo! Huh? Get your horse! Wow! Where did you find these horses, Orbit? In the stable. They were just itching to go for a ride. Well, you know, as sheriff, it's my job to make sure these horses are in mighty fine shape. Yeehaw! Right up, horses! Horses? I thought we were supposed to be doing our chores. You know, work now, play later. <laughs> Nobody tells the sheriff what to do. Unless they want my job. Are you challenging me to a duel, cowboy? I reckon I am. Rock, 
paper, scissors. Woohoo! Paper meets rock. I win. Yippee ki yay! Oh, the wagon. Oh no! I forgot to hitch it up. Uh oh. Sheriff. I think you were just too busy having fun, Emma. There's a time and place for everything. And now is the time to run! Ah! I'm okay! This hay bale broke my ball. It's a good thing. I'm so sorry, Orbit. It was all my fault. Being sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's hard work, and I wasn't very responsible. I hope it isn't too late to fix things. Of course not. And don't worry, we'll help you, right? Right! Whew! The wagon is hitched, and the town is nice and tidy. I guess the only thing left to do is to put Cuddles back in his pen. Cuddles? The bull. That's my pet name for him. He's such a cutesy little fella. Come on, Cuddles. Well, partner, I think you've truly earned that sheriff's badge today. You think so? Thanks. And we got to be cowboys and cowgirls for a day. I reckon that means this is one big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Today we went to the Old West Planet, where Emma decided she wanted to be sheriff for a day. Only I was so busy having fun that I neglected to do the jobs I was supposed to do as sheriff. When things got out of hand, Emma realized being a sheriff is more than just wearing a shiny badge. It's about responsibility. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, Something interesting is taking shape. Come on. Oh, come on, Orbit. Let us see. Yeah, what are you making? Ta-da! It's for the Intergalactic Art Show. What do you think? Wow! A cat! Cool. I really like it. Me too. I wish I had one just like it. Really? Well, I can make you one. For real? Just like it? Sure. But how are you going to do that, Orbit? You're all out of parts. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we could find a hardware store. They'd have parts. Or better yet, why don't we go someplace where we can make a copy of Orbit's sculpture? Yes! Yeah! Great idea. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to find a place where we can copy Orbit's sculpture. All right. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The snowy planet? But every snowflake is unique. We won't find copies of anything there. The puzzle planet? Jigsaw pieces are all different. No copies there either. 
<laughs> the copycat planet. A place with all kinds of copies. Perfect. The copycat planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. the on button. Fuzzy Wuzz always makes me feel better. What am I going to do now? I'm supposed to be an exact copy. I'm sure if we work together, we can figure out how to make you orange again. You do that for me? <laughs> you bet. I sure would. Uh... Yes, if I have to have a copy, I'd rather you be a happy copy than a sad one. So, let's find a way to change you back. <laughs> Machine. It'll be great to be an exact copy again, just like these flowers. Huh? Ah! They smell nice. Hey, how come you're not sneezing? What's sneezing? Huh? Ah! 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 Ah!
is. Flowers always make me sneeze. Really? Weird. They don't do that to me. Startled. I don't know. They're just bees. Nothing to be afraid of. Really? They freak me out. Hmm. You know, I'm starting to think maybe you and I aren't exactly alike. Hey, Orbits, come quick. We figured out the copy machine. <laughs> there, we're all set. Right, TK? Looking good, Rob. All systems set to... Orange! Hop on in! I think... I think I changed my mind. Huh? What's the matter, Orbit 2? Well, I know I'm supposed to be orange because I'm a copy. But I think I like being blue. I like being different. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes! Of course that's okay! It means I'll be a one-of-a-kind robot! Yes! And I'll be a one-of-a-kind orbit again! Woohoo! But... What changed your mind? I realized it wasn't so bad being different. In fact, it makes me feel kind of special. You are special. And you know, you'd be even more special if you had a unique name. Yeah. How about Tibro? Tibro? That's Orbit. Spelled backwards. <laughs> oh, that's great. Hey, do you want to come back with us, Tibro? There's room on our rocket. Thanks, but I'm going to stay with the coffee machine. Since we're both unique to this planet, we should stick together. Okay, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Goodbye, Bye, Tibro. See you soon. make you a copy of my cat sculpture. It is a good sculpture, Orbit. But why don't you make me something different instead? You know, something unique. Yeah, like Tibro and me. Hmm, I've got some clay on the rocket. Maybe I'll make a dog sculpture. Great idea, Orbit. And I think this is one unique <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> we went to the copycat planet so Orbit could make a copy of a sculpture for Emma. But instead of making a copy of the sculpture, we accidentally copied Orbit. Orbit likes being a one-of-a-kind robot. So when his copy turned blue, Orbit was really happy. But then his copy became really sad until he realized it's okay to be different. Being different and unique means being special. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, copycat planet! Hi, everyone! We're making something that's out of this world! Come on! Check out our space mobile, Rob! I've made it so that this planet has a moon orbiting it! Huh? Orbiting? Huh? What am I doing? I didn't mean you, Orbit. The word orbiting means to circle around something, like a planet. Oh, well, you know what's gonna circle around this mobile? The comet I'm about to make. Uh, once I figure out what a comet looks like. I know. My grandpa told me all about comets. They kind of look like big snowballs flying through space. I even saw one once. <gasps> huh? Wow! I'd love to see a comet! Me too! How great would that be? We can find one with my grandpa's old telescope. Sometimes I use it to look at my home planet, Green Dax 5. 
Maybe we should go someplace where we can get a better view with your telescope. That sounds like we have a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see a comet with Emma's telescope. That sounds like a cosmically cool idea. Let's see where you can go. The monkey planet! Oh, I love monkeys. But they're so cute, it'll be hard to look at anything else. The toolbox planet! My kind of place but we won't find any comets there. The astronomy planet! Oh, that's perfect! Astronomy is the study of outer space. The astronomy planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. thing away, Emma. We won't be needing it. What do you mean, that old thing? There's nothing wrong with my grandpa's telescope. Oh, um, I'm sure it's fine and everything, but look at this one. It's just so much better. Yeah! A comet is going to look awesome through this thing. And so will your home planet. I guess. Whoa! Cool! A moon! We've gone to all kinds of planets before, but never a moon, and it looks so close. That's the beauty of telescopes. They make far away things look close up. <gasps> Amazing! Okay, let's reset it so we can see my home planet, Green Dax 5. Um, how do we change its direction? These levers. This one moves it up and down. Wow. And this one, left and right. Huh? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow! When you move it to the side, the entire observatory turns. Cool. <gasps> the comet light! That must mean a comet is about to pass by. But we were about to look for my home planet. We will, but that comet might only be in range for a short time. We don't want to miss it. Hmm. 
No, it's not up there. Here, I'll help you find it back. Oh. <gasps> Maybe this way? Oh, go back, go back! Oh, oh, this way! Aha! Over here? find the comet. Oh, no! The viewfinder's dark! Oh, for sure we're gonna miss the comet. Gee, it's too bad we don't have another telescope to use. <gasps> of course! We can use your grandfather's telescope. This old thing? You don't want to use this. It's so small and old. Please, Emma. I'm sorry. Please share it with us. <laughs> I'm only kidding, you guys. Of course you can use it. <laughs> this should be the right angle. Oh, no. It's dark, too. Oh, the lens cap's on. <laughs> no wonder. Huh? The lens cap? <gasps> Maybe that's what's wrong with the big telescope. <laughs> yeah! Worked! Wow! There's the comet! Amazing! Mind if I take a look? Don't you want to use the big telescope now that Rob fixed it? I could. But your little telescope is great, too. It is. And it's special because it reminds me of my grandpa and of my home. Speaking of home, Green Dax 5. <laughs> it is! How did you know that was my home planet? <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> Rockin' robots! We got to see a comet and Emma's home planet. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? astronomy planet to see a comet. Only we got a bit careless and accidentally broke the giant telescope. We almost missed seeing a comet. Then we remembered Emma brought her grandfather's telescope. It worked great and it showed us that old things can work just as well as new things and they can be extra special too. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Yay! Goodbye, Astronomy Planet!
crab tag, you can only move sideways, just like a real crab. Sure you don't want to play, TK? I'm good. I'm reading. Oh! Oh! Gotcha, Emma! Huh? You can't catch me! I'm fast! <laughs> oh! Which is why I'm gonna get Orbit instead. Whoa! Hey, where'd he go? Orbit? Orbit, not hide and seek. <laughs> I know. I'm being a hermit crab. This is my shell. Oh, what's a hermit crab? A hermit oh. crab is a type of crab who lives in a shell. Here, I'll show you. The shell protects the crab. As the crab grows, it needs to find a bigger shell to live in. If it can't find a shell, it might use whatever it can find. Like a bottle? Cool! Wow, I'd like to meet a hermit crab. <laughs> Me too! And that sounds like we have a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a planet where we can meet a hermit crab. Oh, how exciting. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The imagination planet? We want to meet a real crab, not an imaginary one. Arr, maybe. We won't find a crab on the buccaneer planet, unless it's a crabby buccaneer. <laughs> the beach planet! That's the perfect place to find a crab! <laughs> yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! often live in tidal pools or sandy shores. I bet I can find one. Not if I find one first! another look at my e-reader, so we'll know what a hermit crab looks like. Hmm. Hermit crabs are orangey-gray, pincers, buggy eyes. I don't know. It could be hard to find one. 
<laughs> you, I don't think it's gonna hurt us, whatever it is. Simmering circuits? Rob, it's a hermit crab. Huh? It can't be. It's walking forward, not sideways. That's how hermit crabs walk. They're different from other crabs. But where's its shell? Oh, he doesn't have one. He must have outgrown his shell, and now he's a naked hermit crab. Oh, uh -oh. He's a crabby crab. I'd be crabby too if I didn't have a shell to keep me safe. Maybe we should find him a new one. Great idea, Rob. Hi, crab lord. I'm Rob. These are my friends Emma, TK, and Norbit. We're gonna help you find a new shell, okay? This'll be a piece of cake. As long as it isn't crab cake. <laughs> Rob, but I think Crabart needs a much bigger shell. Like this one. Woo! Pretty! Phew! And open for business! Check it out! Hmm? This is so cool! The most awesome thing ever! What is it? <gasps> it's a sand dollar! <laughs> I bet Crabart will like it! Try on. A crab fashion show. I like it. There he is. We brought you some shells, Crabort. Ooh. Ta da! Shell number one. What do you think? It'd make a good home, right? Oh! What's wrong with it? It's the right size, and it's brown, and hard, and. <laughs> what about my shell, Crabart? <laughs> hmm, it's a tad too big. Hmm. You can have my sand dollar. It might make a nice hat or umbrella. Flying disc! I'll get it! Oh! I knew it! Crabwort likes my sparkly shell the best! Oh. Ah. Oh. What are we gonna do? We've already searched the beach. I think we found all the shells. Hmm. Does it have to be a shell? Can't Crabwort use something else? Hmm. Don't worry. There must be something around here that Crabort can use for a shell. Oh! Huh? Huh? Uh... Huh. <laughs> a coconut shell! It's so coconutty, it just might work. It's the perfect size. But how do we get it open? Crabort needs to be able to climb inside. Allow me. <laughs> Admit, that's craptastic! Aww. It fits! Yeah! <laughs> Not only did we help Crabbert find a new home, we made a new friend. I'd say this is one big mission accomplished! Yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the beach planet to meet a hermit crab. Only he was a naked hermit crab. He had outgrown his shell. We decided to search for a shell for crab work, but the shells we found were too big, too small, too flat, or too smelly. Then I spotted a coconut. 
It turns out a coconut shell makes a great home for a hermit crab like Crabort. And then Crabort wasn't crabby anymore. He was a happy crab. Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five. <laughs>